In Iowa City, Rob Houtland and Daniel Murray are legends for their game-winning field goals. In Ames, you have Shaggy, Brett Culbertson, and now you add Cole Netton's name to that list. Tony Seaman talks about the new hero in Ames. That's right, Andy. And the funny thing is, you know, sometimes football kickers, they get a lot of grief from fans and their teammates, but when it comes down to it, they're the ones that can single-handedly win or lose a game for you. Tonight, Cole Netton certainly did some winning for Iowa State. Let's go back to that kick. Nails the 42-yarder on his second try after getting iced by Kirk Ferentz, as we said earlier. And for the Iowa native, this moment really doesn't get any sweeter. <laughs> I mean, this is, it's, it's incredible. Growing up, and I've always been an Iowa State fan. And to play for Iowa State and then uh, any other team, the Hawkeyes, uh, to choose one, that's, it's, it's crazy. He was extremely calm. Surprised you? Yeah. No, no. Most of those guys, uh, that, that, that's their craft, punting and kicking and all that, that's, that's the way they are. They're, they're, they're not anxious. There's, there's always a lot of hangarounds over there trying to talk to them. Uh, thinking they're going to teach him real quick, you know, uh, to be calm or, 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 or to kick well or, or to win a game. And it, it's good to have that, that demeanor, which, which Cole does. Oh, I don't even know. It was just awesome. Absolutely incredible. Also, a big day for the guy taking the snaps for Iowa State. Sam Richardson, pretty powerful performance. 25 for 37 for 255 yards through the air. He also threw two touchdowns, led two key charges for the Cyclones late in the game. He also got some help from, of course, Devondrick Neely, the man, the myth, catching a late touchdown pass that gave Iowa State the lead. Really the hero in this game, catching one from Sam Richardson. Sam, he was just like blank, and I seen the, the ball coming like a beach ball. It got big, got big, got big. And still right in my hands, and then I just heard the crowd go wild when I caught the ball, so it was pretty amazing. Uh, I told DV, we're going to need you again. He went out and fumbled again in the second half, okay? But the coaches stuck with him, and he stuck with himself, and the teammates stuck with himself. Next thing you know, he's catching a huge touchdown for us. Uh, so they just, they just didn't back off. And back to the one throwing that touchdown pass, quarterback Sam Richardson. Again, a big day for him, 25 for 37, two for 255 yards, threw two touchdowns, including that Neely bomb. And he also led two key charges for the Cyclones late in the game, giving them the chance to take that big lead. Now, head coach Paul Rhodes said the first two games of the season were Sam's best two games, and he just keeps on improving. I said earlier, I thought Sam played his best game as an Iowa State Cyclone against North Dakota State. After the Kansas State game, I said, I think he's played his two best games as an Iowa State Cyclone. Today, he probably played his best game as an Iowa State Cyclone, which I, I, I forecasted a week ago. It's just, that's just the mindset that young man is. He, he's, he's improving. He's taking the coaching. He's going out and working on the fundamentals and, and, and making good decisions. Um, it's fun to see his, his, his growth. It's awesome. Obviously, I don't really care how I play as long as we get the win. I'd trade every bit of yard that I threw for today for a win at the end of the day and that's that's uh, just how I was born and raised and obviously being able to get a big win like this it's it's uh, phenomenal so big day for Richardson now you know if you would poll some Cyclone fans I bet they would say that this is definitely Sam Richardson's best game as a Cyclone Andy yeah, I bet you're right. I bet when uh, Paul Rhodes goes back and looks at the film, that's probably what he's going to say, too. <laughs> Tony Seaman live in Iowa City.